But it takes place in the 21st century, um, and it's set in India. It's the story of Moses. Enjoy. So, hey, Ryan. Yeah, I heard the stock market's gone up, and you're doing great. Oh, that's perfect. So, uh, I'm coming down next week. I hope you book my flight tickets and uh, my private jet. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll call you later. I just uh, have some family work, okay? Hey kids, uh, Moses and Ramses, can you come? please come here? Daddy, how are you doing? My elder son, <laughs> oh, my youngest son. Hey dad. So, I paid a lot of tuition fee for your guitar class. How's that going? Um, dad, actually I'm doing pretty good. And my mid exams are going well too. And I'm preparing for my grade 8 music exams as well. So, thank God. You better do well. I made a lot for it. Yes, Father. And my eldest son. Yes, Daddy. I oh, great. I sent you this French class, but I'm hearing news that you are going around with someone. My classes are going fine. Uh, well, I'm not sure of the level. Mm. Um, I don't know where you were from. Oh, uh, if there's something we can talk about and fix, we can. Okay, I'm pretty you know, good, Dad. I'm pretty good. Okay, you know that I'm always there available, right? Yeah, okay. sure. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So, uh, I'll, talk, uh, I'll see you later. And, uh, yep. Hey, Dad. Have yeah. a good trip to Bahamas. Yeah, yeah. I hope you don't uh, trouble your mom when I'm off, okay? Take care. Okay, that's good. See you, Dad. Why did you make tea? I, 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 we had a servant last week. What, what happened to her? I know we have several servants to make tea and to clean up, but I just thought I might make you a tea once in a while. Well, I hope there's no conditions of fire. Okay. Um, so, are uh, you getting ready for your trip? Oh, yeah. All the, everything packed out here? Um, I'm guessing you should be packing that for me. Uh, okay, I'll <laughs> surely pack it. No worries. Thank you. So, as you can see, a day in, in the life of this family consists of business calls, calls regarding private jets, and French lessons. And there is no God in this family. Um, so close to their house, there's a, a slum nearby, close to their house, and um, Moses still doesn't know his true identity. He still doesn't know his past. at the Mama. door again. Mama. Oh my goodness. What do you guys want I'll now? You the mark on your car. So I'm good. Firstly, I do not understand your I'm language. Not. And secondly, what I'm makes you think I have go. any money? I don't know what you're trying to say, but I don't have any money for you. Look, can you just do me a favor <laughs> and stay out of my property for good? Please stop coming to our house every day. <laughs> Mom. Mom, yes, <clears throat> who, who was at the door? Um, Moses, they are people that we do not interact with. They are lower than us. They are peasants. We don't go near them. We're very different to them. But they, they just asked for some money, I think, to quench their hunger. Okay, son, what makes you think we have money? We have, I'm looking up to the stock market. There's lots of stocks in the market that I'm trying to manage. We have 12 properties in New York near the water side. They're expensive. I don't know if the price of the property is going to go up or down. It's just so stressful. We don't have any money to give anybody. Don't we have enough, Mom? We don't have enough. We never have enough. All right, Mom. So, you ask for money? No. Uh, yes, yes. So, um, I'll just give you whatever I have. Because, I don't know. That's... <laughs> Dear Petra, I'm back home from my holidays. I hope you're here. Oh, hi. It's good to have you back. How oh. was your trip? How was your flight? It was pretty stressful and tiring. But you had a, you know, private jet and everything. Was good? But business trips are always like that. It just, you know, it just goes on. Yeah, it's been pretty busy out here as well. Uh, you I know, hope I you can make me a cup of tea so that... Amen! I hope you can deal with that, please. No, no, I've been dealing with that all week. I'm not going near those people. When you were away, I had to answer every door. You can take care of this one, please. Oh, 
not Amen, again. Please. What do you want? I have nothing for you to give. I, I, see, I have nothing. I have nothing. Man. Please go away. I'm tired of all you people. to the stock market, what's happening right now? Looking good so far. <clears throat> Mom? Yes, son? Why, why are I packing my bag for my high son, studies? what are these papers that you're holding? I just found some, it says some adoption documents and there is my... You were never meant to get these documents. Why are you looking through this? I told you not to go into that room. Mom, but it says adoption document, and wh why is my name on that? Son, there is no easy way to tell you this, but you were never meant to find out like this. What do you mean, Mom? I don't know how to tell you, but... Okay, I'll just say it. Moses, you're adopted. What? Adopted? I knew it. What? Is he bad or something? You said that, Mom. Ramesses, you need to go back into your room. This is a very Mom, important discussion but... that I'm having with your brother. Can you please go back into okay, your parentheses? You weren't meant to hear this either. But mom, how? What, son, why didn't I know this all this while? Son, uh, look, once I was walking down um, at the fish market and I saw you in a basket. Miss <laughs> <laughs> sewage. <laughs> and I, I couldn't just leave you there. I had to pick you up and I made you part of our family, but don't worry, you're one of us now. You're not one of them. You're still my son. No. She's not coming anymore. Could you at least give me the address? There is no address for this place. <laughs> Mom, I gotta go find my family. Don't leave. We are your family. You are not my family, Mom. Please don't leave like that, son. Your brother, your father. No, Mom, I can't take this anymore. Now this scene takes place in the slums. God, I, I hope I will. I find my family. I don't know, only God can. Who are you? I, sister, this brother. I had it. Oh God! Thank you, Lord. So this brings us to the final scene of our play. Um, although we didn't show you, Moses does um, with his education. He does help his family, um, help his impoverished family, and lead them out of um, the poverty, and eventually show them. Well, they already knew God. They basically show him happiness. So um, the moral of the story is to, no matter how high God takes us, to never forget, um, to always remain humble and faithful to him and, um, and never forget our roots. Um, like, as we all do, live in a foreign country, we should never um, forget where we come from. Thanks.